so today guys we'll be making a goosey soup beginners friendly so this video is requested by one of my subscribers shout out to lizzie e so today we'll be making well detailed how to make a goosey soup so here we have our protein this is goat meat already washed here we have our stock fish here we have roughly blended pepper and onions here we have uh, this is so this spice is native spice i call it i have the video i will leave the link on the description box so this one is bullion seasoning we have salt here here we have a goosey this is two cups of a goosey and this is the leaf we are going to be using on it this is onubu leaf what well washed one you can use spinach if you don't want to use bitter leaf but me i like bitter leaf on my goosey so this is Oziza blended oziza for spice in it up. So this is oil. So let's dive into the cooking immediately. So here we have our pot. Go in with the goat meat, well washed goat meat. Go in with your stock fish. Go in with your roughly blended pepper. Then you go ahead with your salt. So yeah, we'll be using the salt. Let me get spoon. Okay. So we're going to be adding the salt and the bouillon seasoning. We're going to be adding this later, not now. So go ahead and turn on your stove. And then wash. So this is the water we got from blending our onions and pepper. Go ahead and add it to it. Then cover the pot and allow it to cook. So we have been cooking this for a while now. So let's give it a stir. It's not done yet. So we're going to add water to it. Okay. Cover it and continue cooking it. You'll cook it. You cook it until the meat, the protein is tender. So now we're going to make this in, into puri. Puri puri. So all you have to do is add a little water to the egusi. Add water to it and then. Combine it together. Come, let's cook, come, let's cook, come, let's cook. Here in Nell's Kitchen TV, we teach how to cook, how to cook all the freaking delicacies. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Have you learned to be shared? Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications button. We got you, we got you. I love you all. I did not show you this dish fish before so this is oven dry croaker fish i dried it on the oven by myself now we're going to go in with our native spice and the gozesa mix it very well Oh, 
cover the pot again and cook more because the meat is not yet tender okay so guys here we'll be doing voice over because the noise on the background is something else okay it's not that much anyway but i don't want their voices to enter this video that much so here the meat is already done then when the meat is done your protein is already done all you have to do is put the put in the egusi the egusi puri we made before you put it aside then now you are going to be adding it you're going to be scooping it little by little you can mold it as well you can use your hand and mold it and then put it in the pot then after putting it you have to go ahead and cover the pot and allow the egusi to boil before you go ahead with uh, the red oil yes so why i did that sometimes when you add the red oil before the egusi it will make the egusi to be kind of soggy yeah i don't like that so that's why i put the egusi first cover it allow it to cook yeah so before you now go ahead with the oil with the red oil definitely the red oil will be the second to the last thing we are going to be adding to this okay so why i didn't do the f um the frying method is because um this video was requested by a by my subscriber and uh, she has not cooked it before for the first time so if you are cooking a goosey for the first time i don't advise you to fry it because it might get burnt so for it not to get burnt in your hand you have to be a pro on cooking a goosey before you can do the frying method okay so yeah this is a simple and uh, beginners friendly you can do okay so after that as you can see i have added the oil allow it to boil like five minutes add in the oil then go ahead and then stay it very well then the next thing we are going to be adding is the vegetable is uh, if you are using spinach you go ahead and add your spinach have you liked this video yet i think i've not said that on this video <laughs> go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe and come back for more okay so yeah that is this so we're going to go ahead and add the vegetable that is i use onubu that is bitter leaf you can get that in african store if you are living in diaspora so but if you are living in uh, like other uh, other places you know you can get it from the market okay so go ahead and add the bit the leaf and uh, voila your soup is ready <laughs> so yeah shout out to my subscriber liz e liz e this video is for you but not just only for you other people will watch okay <laughs> So we are going to go ahead and uh, show you how to make pando to go with this. You can use it with any fufu, any swallow. You can use it with gari, pando yam, semo, any swallow of your choice. But the one we are going to be making here is... We are skipping out the soup. I want to keep... <laughs> A little silence for scooping of the soup. Oh, the this soup sweet, no be small. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and then uh, scoop your soup and put it aside to be cooling down, so that you go ahead and make the swallow. So here our water is boiled already. What is in that pot is one cup of water and uh, one cup of pando yam yeah so when you pour it when you allow the put the water to boil you pour the pando yam then keep stirring it turn it until it's well combined yeah it's going to combine very you keep turning it mix it very well until it's combined then your swallow your fufu is ready to eat with your delicious egusi soup okay i'm i'm wishing all the beginners that's going to watch this video i wish you good luck 
and you're cooking you're going to get it right trust me just follow the process i'm also going to put the description if you did not understand it go ahead and uh, read the description because i'm going to write it down step by step on how you are going to make this egusi okay so do me a favor like this video share it to your loved ones that want to learn how to make this soup as well thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye